Hi, and welcome to the NFC East 2012 preview. Uh, this is the start of the NFC. If you noticed, I've done all my AFC ones. You probably checked them out, and I know about the numbers. Somebody did. Uh, anyway, let's get started with the basement here, and clearly it's going to be the Redskins uh, as a rebuilding project here. Uh, I see RG3 having, hopefully, a really good year. He looks good so far in preseason, not really statistically, but you can see the mechanics are there, the arm strength. Uh, again, it's preseason, and you never know what's going to happen, especially when Shanahan is in charge of the offense. Uh, Evan Royster could be their starting guy, should be their starting guy, but are they going to have him run for a couple weeks, and then you're going to see Halu when he's healthy back in there. Uh, and then the next guy, it's just a rotation where you can never get consistency. Santana Moss aging, and, and the offense here, even with Cooley coming back this year, is it going to be really dependent? It's a lot of pressure uh, on RG3 to perform, and it may be too much. We don't know. We saw Cam Newton a great year he had last year. They were six and ten. That's where I got the Redskins this year at six and ten. Next on the list, not too far above at seven and nine, maybe eight and eight. The Cowboys, and I hate to say it because you always have potential at the Cowboys to be that team, and you always think that this is going to be their year. And Jerry Jones had a a giant Lombardi Trophy at their pep rally this year. But DeMarco Murray, we have only seen small samples from him. Is he in every down back? I don't know. He's gotten hurt. Uh, Felix Jones is still there. You don't know what he's going to do, how they're going to use him. They're primarily a pass-first team with Romo. However, who they're going to pass to, witness safety blanket is hurt. He's got a lacerated spleen from the Raider game in preseason. Um, you're looking at Austin Miles consistently with the hamstrings these last couple of years seasons uh it's just you know is he good is he come in is he play a good game then the next game he disappears Des bryant i mean uh, alcohol dwis drugs beating up his mom i mean where does it stop where does it end he is the black athletic lindsey lohan of the nfl get this guy involved somehow get him focused on and, and this could be you know his big year and it could be the bailout that that Romo's going to need uh because I just and, and as good as their defense is it can't be that good when it's on the field constantly and I just see this this team I don't know they don't they don't have a direction moving right along let's get into the Eagles the Eagles are my next team uh I had them coming in at 10 and 6 possibly with a tie with the Giants and I'll tell you about that in another couple minutes uh but the Eagles I see them it's their division to really lose this year this is their shot uh, Vic's got to stay healthy so far by the preseason. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. I mean, already uh, ribs, uh, the finger on the back of his offensive lineman's helmet. Shady McCoy has to be the big offensive weapon here, and it really hinges through him. Uh, and he has to stay healthy, and that's the big thing. He has stayed healthy these last couple seasons, so let's see if he can do it again. Macklin, another big name that has to stay healthy. The tight end position they got to use probably a lot more this year. Uh, the Deshaun Jackson, I, he's not an every down receiver. He's not a possession guy. He's a shoot it down. A, he's a hit and run high high hit and miss with him. Uh, but when he gets the ball, he is dynamic and electric. And again, it depends on his attitude and the cohesion with Vic or Foles. I mean, we might see Foles in there. We don't know. Foles look good in the preseason, but you know, you never know. You get a guy in real, real live action. It's a whole nother story. Uh, one benefit for them as they start off, I think they open against Cleveland. Now going to the giants, I see the giants either winning this division or tying at 10 and six with, the Eagles, uh, or winning the division in a 10 and 6. The Giants are a very strong team. Defensively, they are sound. They are very good. They're all coming uh, back for the most part. Uh, good defensive cohesion. The offensive line keeps Eli up long enough every play uh, to get the ball down. Very high completion percentage for Eli. Smart quarterback, throws very good balls. One of the great, and this is a really good stat, he's one of the greatest quarterbacks in the postseason ever almost if you go look up his stats check it out I mean when you have stats like that in the postseason your your regular season you know the guy is lights out he's got ice in his veins he is a great guy to lead the team and I do see that Knicks is going to be probably their main guy to hit uh, possession wise Cruz yes he's a downfield threat uh, a Bradshaw has to stay healthy and show that he can tote the load now in this offense um Check it out. I'm going to have the NFC West for you coming up right away, too. So check out for that. And as always, until next time when we speak, you take it is.